Hello you guys, it's Galatius and Latios, and for this video I had to get some info so I kind of spoiled a couple things, I mean you can actually spend diamonds, uh, she, Vivi showed it on her video to buy one of the backgrounds, hell yeah I am, I didn't know you could buy a background in this event, so I had to look things up because I was kind of lost, I wanted to make sure the totals on her video meant with three tries, I think, right, <laughs> so what have I decided to do? I'm going for two suits after all. I know. I know I said I was going to stick with Louis' suit, but I caved in. I want to get Lunar's suit, I guess for two reasons. One, it's Louis and Lunar. And two, I want that background item with the animation. I'll make the dress work, but everything else is like, eh, but I'll still get it. Three, oh, I guess there's a third reason why I decided to get it. Because we have a recharge going on. You have to spend 30 I have double diamonds on $20, so I'm pretty much getting the event for semi-half free. So it's like, it'll well, if I buy the background, it'll bring me at least to 8000 ish if I calculate it all right. But yes, let's do this. Let's go in for some crushingness and heart-wrenching stuff, right? Come on, it's Lunar, right? Anything that involves her and Louis, yes. Time stops in this virtual zone. Carrying the info of space, the currents of data form from a stream, stretching into a far, go to the illusion zone, collect illusion sands, and win exquisite suit. So what I have gathered is this. So if you want totals, it goes like this. So Kimmy only, she posted 1890, Louis only 1760, and my luck, Louis and Lunars is 3630, while Kimmy and Louis is 3810. 5680 for all three. Should you go for these suits? If you're saving for hell events and for comeback and you don't care about these suits, skip them. But three suits for like almost 6000 ish is not bad considering the amount of expensive hell events we have had lately where you have to spend that amount just for one suit. So collect Louis suit, dream in the dark night to unlock a new ending. So you have to. <laughs> All right. Tick. The hand of the clock slowly moves, its clear ticking sound mixed with the electric buzz in an empty, bizarre, and dreamlike manner. Dark space, flowing sand, flickering green light. Welcome to a journey through space and time. Who's talking and where am I? I'm talking, Dia. Nikki looks around and feels as if she's in the bottleneck of a giant hor horizontally placed hourglass. Sand flies by her and into the distorted space ahead. Nikki reaches for the sand, but the moment it touches her fingertips, transforms into green characters, which go through her fingers and keep flying forward. An electric sound, mechanical devoid of human emotions, echoes in the empty space. Loading data. Simulation system activated. A scene will be simulated based on the data input. Have a pleasant journey. Well, well, well. Collection. Okay, this sh all right. A dark, mysterious space silhouette where time moves backwards. A familiar silhouette, painful memories. If only one could truly turn back time. Nikki turns her head and sees an endless stream of sand flying toward her from a dark abyss. Whoa. Nikki looked around and sees a faint reflection of her face amid the flowing sand. What's happening? In the daze, she reaches out her hand and sees her reflection in the sand doing the same. Her fingertip touches that of her reflection, but she doesn't feel anything. This is me the scene in the reflection stretches backward and begins to display her memories frame by frame nikki slowly walks backward as if there's an invisible hand dialing back the clock her memories play like a movie before her a simulated scene does it mean that it can simulate what happened in the past i would assume so she suddenly stops in her tracks amidst the flowing sand nikki sees the back of a figure standing on a city wall her clothes fluttering in the wind. Suddenly, a sharp blade pierces through the slim figure. And ooh, blood! Oh, oh boy! <laughs> and blood oozes out. In the scene, she sees herself in tears. It it's if it's all right. 
Nikki murmurs. The flowing sand it begins to obscure the scene. She slowly extends her hand, trying to touch the figure. The moment Nikki's hand touches the sand, the scene disappears into nothing. Before she has time to ponder, a sense of weightlessness comes over her and she finds herself flying through the blank space not long after she disappears another mechanical sound rings out variables sub calculating margin oh oh boy engines churning the train sets off towards lower river city where the tale of destiny shall begin if only starting over were possible nikki awakes awakes to the roar of trains you're awake we're almost in lower city Oh, Lower River City. Lower River City? Where am I? Nikki looks out the window. Rivers crisscross a vast open field. In the distance, a listless sun has turned somewhat gray. Lower River City's gate is drawing nearer and nearer. Uh, are you okay, Nikki? We're heading to Lower River City to get help, remember? Bobo, aren't you supposed... No, and Momo, am I... Nikki tries to recount what just happened, but can't make a sound. Warning. Program will be locked if violation of simulation lock is detected. A mechanical voice suddenly speaks in her head. Have I been transported back to the day I went to Lower River City to request Ge General Hull's assistance for Lunar? But what's with that voice? Is that all? It's just a simulation? What's wrong, Nikki? We'll arrive in Lower City. Lower City soon. Gosh, it's hard to say. Get yourself together. Lunar is waiting for us in Cloud City. Lunar, yes, Lunar, we've got to go to Cloud City now and rescue her. But we're supposed to get help in Lore City first, remember? On our own, we stand no chance against the entire army of the Northern Rebels. Yeah, plus we are already in Lore City. We can't go to Cloud City now. Oh, my lord, Lore City, Cloud City. Hi. Where is Long Lizzy now? Oh, um, he's in another carriage attending to some military business. He'll meet us? When the train arrives at the station. No, it'd be a waste of time to get help from... Ho? Oh, Ho? Oh, oh. Was that the... Per we need to go to Cloud City now. Where are you going, Nikki? Nikki stands up and hurries down the carriage. Momo and Bobo quickly follow. They soon arrive at the carriage where Long Lizzie is. Lizzie? What are you doing here? There is something I have to tell you. Ho has been colluding with League Tear all along. He... Oh... He'll never agree to help send help to Cloud City. We must go to Cloud City now. Oh, <laughs> why General Ho has been colluding with League Tear? Are you out of your minds? But he's a high-ranking general of the Cloud Empire. Bro, come on, anybody can be corrupt, Momo. Lizzie's face falls at Nikki's words. H how do you know this, Nikki? Oh, uh, we have something talking to us. Yeah, I. As Nikki is about to explain. She she thinks of the voice, Error, error, you better not talk about this. Sorry, I can't tell you now, but trust me, please. Cloud City is in a perilous situation, and Lunar is in danger. General Hull is compromised. We need to figure out something else. With a solemn look, he ponders the words for a brief moment. But we're already in Lore River City. The soldiers here only follow General Hull's orders. I hold no sway over them. Oh, shit. Am I not allowed to leave Lore City without permission? Oh, and I'll try to persuade General Hull. Send some men to Cloud City. Then you can go there with them. But we're running out of time. Oh, my God. How about this? As soon as the train arrives, I'll arrange a car to take you to Cloud City. But you must be careful. Nikki looks out the window again, imagining seeing Cloud City beyond the mountains and seeing that slim figure. Without a loud whistle, with a loud whistle, the train pulls to the station. Cloud City is at the northernmost end of the Cloud Empire. It's very cold there. You better change it to something warmer. Alright. Well, this is getting crazy already. Definitely, guys. Oh... Too bad she she gonna die. Well, this is a what if story, right? So, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure this doesn't matter what I'm doing right now. You could just put on pretty much anything, right? Well, obviously you want those two tags. No, okay, much better. I absolutely refuse to use it still, ever to this day. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes. 
Come on. No, no. All right, so it's a background item. Okay. Yep, that should do. Ooh, I got the highest one. Hey! I wanted to put her to sleep. She did that first before me. Alright. Alright. Unbelievable. Illusion sand. Error. Error. We can't change the story. Admonition in the game. What is that word even? The Rebel North Ar Realm Army is trapped in Cloud City while Ho stands by watching. I think that's a misspelled word. <laughs> stands by watching. Lizzie admonishes his men in the camp, but. Ooh. Oh, I don't think we've seen this background before. In the car headed to Cloud City, there was there are burned down villages among the way. Smoke rises from the ashes before dissipating in the freezing rain. I wonder how Lizzie is doing right now. Did he succeed in convincing General Ho? Didn't Nikki say that General Ho is a crook? No way he'll send help. Nikki feels a knot in her stomach as she watches Lore City retreating behind her. I wonder how things are in Lore City. I hope Lizzie can figure something out. In the Lore City ba barracks. General, officers... Z z z Lizzie just sent off two young girls. They were headed in the direction of Cloud City. Young girls? Who are they? And where is Officer Zong now? <laughs> He's in the city, on his way here. The moment the soldier finishes speaking, someone lifts the tent flap and walks in. Greetings, General Ho. No need to be so formal, dummy. <laughs> you must be tired from the trip. Why don't you get some rest first? General Ho. Oh, General Ho. Cloud City is under <laughs> under siege. Hi, <laughs> Lizzie. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my God! I, I, okay, we have the we have Lower City Cloud. It's like it's so hard to say. This is like a mouthful for me. And not only that, but trying to say all these Chinese names. I'm like, hello. <laughs> you control the city's northwestern border. Are you going to sit by and left and left and let the city fall into the hands of the rebel? <laughs> Officer Lacey, my hands are tied, don't you see? The Imperial Court has ordered me to guard Lower City. I don't have the liberty to send out reinforcements. If Cloud City falls, Lower City will... S for two... Surely you understand that the fates of the two cities are tied, if you could sense... <laughs> Urusai, shut up. Who are you to question my judgment? I control the army of Lore River City. I will not send a single soldier without instructions from Cloud Capital. What an ass. Lizzie clenches his fist behind his back and recalls what the girls said on the train. What the girls? You mean Nikki? After a brief moment, but Bobo didn't say anything, right? He decides to speak. Oh my god, I just realized. No, I didn't just realize, but Bobo's with us, bro. Perhaps, perhaps your inaction is due to the fact that you are in cahoots with the Northern Rebels. How dare you? Cool. <laughs> Can I just call him Q? Q interrupts Lizzie with a loud, with a, with a loud, <laughs> with a shout, <laughs> with a loud shout. He he looks frustrated for a moment. Then his face darkens as he looks at Lizzie's eyes and asks. Where did you hear such an uh, straight, uh, outrageous rumor? It was the suspect at first, but your reaction confirmed it. Oh, yeah. You probably made sure the news of the attack didn't reach Cloud Capital. Have you thought about the consequences? Q sneers. I don't know about any consequences, but you, you will not leave the barracks. You fucking asshole. Someone takes Z Lizzie to prison for disobeying orders and dis... Asparagus, his superior... Cloud Capital has received news of the attack. Soon, the Imperial Court will issue an edict, and it's only a matter of time before the people of the city learn what's going on. Yeah, that is true. What are you doing amounts to a felony under the Cloud Empire's law. You think you could get away with it? 
As soon as Lizzie finishes speaking, a soldier comes and drags him out of the tent. Oh shit! Still in a rage, Q ponders for a moment, then summons his lieutenant. Take some men with you. Have them change into light outfits and go chase down the car Lizzie sent off. Catch the girls before they get the word out. Wait, they have cars? Oh, Redo has a car. Duh. Hi, hi. Yes, General. All right. Oh my God, my reading is such a mess, and and I'm finding some funny uh misspelled words too. That's okay. It happens. I mean, fuck. <coughs> I don't want sapphire, bro. It's a oh. Damn, it's like I almost have one for every category. Oh 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 oh. Ah, the popcorn. All right. Ta-da! Oh. Oh, I like what she's wearing. Put her to sleep. Yes. Oh, Valentine's. Yes. I'm glad we're not getting that ugly Valentine's suit from CN server. God, it's ugly. <laughs> it, it truly is. I, I don't like it. Okay, don't wait. Should I? Do I have? Oh. Huh? Oh, it's only once. Where's the thing where I can exchange stuff? Interesting. The chase. Under the dark, cloudy skies, Nikki and Co. head towards Cloud City. Meanwhile, Danger looks just around the corner. Oh, the car headed to Cloud City drives smoothly on the road and it crashes and oh, error, error. Simulation has ended. Goodbye. <laughs> This is going to be sad. The sky darkens a little, overtaken by gray clouds. The air is stifling. Stifling? Stifling? St stifling. <laughs> Nikki wrings her hands on her lap. She feels a growing unease in her chest. Don't worry, Nikki. Lunar will be fine. No, she's not. Yeah, we'll arrive in Cloud City soon. It's just, I'm afraid that... Nikki stops in mid-sentence. She's afraid that tragedy, that horrifying moment she'll never forget will happen again. Even though this is a simulated world, I can't let Lunar... I think I just heard something. Bobo twists her head and sees several black vehicles racing towards them. The driver hears something too. He glances at the rear view mirror and is terrified by what he sees. Damn it! It's General Who's Lackeys. Q. Uh, how did they catch up so quickly? Oh no. Liz yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, he did. Lizzie must have failed. Oh, Lizzie must have failed. Sir, can you lose them? The driver shakes his head, looking pale. I'm afraid that's impossible. There are too many of them. And they know where we're headed to Cloud City. They won't stop until they take us down. What do we do? What do we do now? If they catch up to us, we'll never get to Cloud City in time. Oh my god. Again, Nikki clenches her fists and ponders for a moment. Then she says to the driver, Sir, can you drop us off at the next corner and keep driving, pretending while we're still in the car? You mean... Okay, I get it, but you must be careful. As the car turns the blind corner, the three girls swiftly jump off and sneak into... The three girls? Uh, isn't it just us? Bobo and Momo? The pursuing cars quickly follow and pass the corner. Nikki and her companions wait until the roaring of the engine fades away to come out. Go ahead, it's over. But how are we supposed to get to Cloud City without a car? I saw a, qu I, I saw a courier station on our way here. Let's go there and figure something out. Okay. I don't see any other option. But since our pursuers are still close by, we should change into something more concealing. Why don't we get get spotted? Oh, we don't want to get spotted. All right. Things are going crazy right now. Oh my goodness, man. Ooh, this is intense. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, nice. And we just got that item, too. 
If I'm not mistaken, this is what if. They had their wedding, right? Oh. Like, rip. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> oh. Oh no, that was a face I didn't. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Uh oh. Nah, nah, we're fine. We are fine. <laughs> Woo. Perfect. Okay. Whew. Oh boy. <laughs> The group's ride begins, brings them closer to Cloud City. Soon they will arrive. Will Luna's fate be rewritten this time? Cloud City. We had to download stuff in the Texas moving slow. The outskirts station is no longer operating due to the war. The lights are out. The soldiers are gone. All gone. No vehicle can be seen in sight. The station master... Learning that Nikki and Co. are headed to Cloud City, which is surrounded by League Tier, seems a bit concerned. He brings out a carriage for the group. I'm powerless and can't save the Cloud City civilians myself, so this is the least I can do. This old thing may be getting on in years, but it should still function just fine. Yay, we can go to Cloud City now. But we don't know how to drive a carriage. Somebody find us a carriage. This old this old boy has been my partner for years. We've been through so much together. Worry not. I'll bring you all to Cloud City safely. Thank you, kind sir. Please make it in time. We have to rewrite fate. The station master drives Nikki and Co. towards Cloud City on his trusty carriage. As the rickety carriage bumps along on its way, Nikki pulls up the curtain and gazes out in the oof, direction of Cloud City. Oh boy, we're, we're getting close. Please hang on. I won't fail you this time, Lunar. Please. Under looming gray clouds, the Cloud City gates are surrounded by the invaders. It finally begins to pour, chilling raindrops landing on Nikki's face. Despite being soaking wet, Nikki focuses on finding the underground sewer Callie showed them previously, Bobo and Momo in tow. How did you know you could get into the city from here, Nikki? Don't ask. <laughs> Nikki is too anxious to reply. She crawls on silently, not even acknowledging the pain when she accidentally scrapes the back of her hand on the stone, drawing blood. Ooh. We've already wasted enough time. Can we still make it? Hang in there, Lunar. Wait for me. <gasps> Lunar is standing atop the city walls, wind ruffling her outfit, making her seem even more fragile. Yet this delicate figure stands fearlessly in the face of the gigantic army. She will never back down, for all she's ever loved is right behind her. Nikki and her crew finally makes their way up the city walls. However, before they could stop to catch their breath... Lunar! Uh. Oh my god! Even in a simulation, we still cannot... <laughs> Why, why, no matter how hard I try, I can't change the outcome. Oh, Lunar, wake up, Lunar. I I'll give you all my grilled fish. Fish, please wake up. Nikki hugs Lunar tight. The latter's back is arched, traveling from the excruciating pain. I know I can't change the past, but why can't I save Lunar? Not even in a vir Yeah, I see, in virtual world. The rain has stopped. The war banners flapping in the wind, the cries of the civilians, Momo sobs, everything falls silent in an instant. Then there's the sound of a clock hand, I know I said that wrong, tick, tock, tick, tock. The very next second, Nikki feels weightless. She blinks open her eyes to see countless grains of sand surging backwards in a never-ending procession. Uh, 
well, I'd like to collect it, but, uh, <clears throat> well, first of all, oh, okay, that's not bad. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. Hello? Can I... to figure this out. Ten thousand! Why? What do I exchange? Oh my god, I am being really stupid right now. Okay, well, first of all, uh, 5075. I need to spend 3630. Okay. That would be seven twenty three. Let's see. Thirty six thirty, huh? Can you tell my math is amazing? Oh. Hello? Holy shit, I really don't know where to go exchange right now. Like, I legit just don't know. Oh! What? <laughs> the hell did that come from? Uh. Okay. I finally figured out where <clears throat> you could get the exchange. Oh my god. What the fuck, bro? Let's go get that. Uh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Let's go get that ending for you guys. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. This is. So it goes down every 10, so. So it's like 10, 20, 30, 40. So I have to do this, what, like 50? 1, 2. Five, six. Yeah, this is like tapping 50 times. Oh, Jesus Christ. <gasps> oh, we're going to get you that ending. It's bullshit how you actually have to complete the suit to unlock that alternative ending, by the way. So, that's not fair. Ah, uh, yeah. I forgot to notify Twitter off. I'm enjoying this event. God, especially when we have Bobo with us. Like, ooh. Like, ooh. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think I'm actually going to read Kimmy's story in a separate one. Because not only am I not going for the suit. It's just I don't want to overwhelm myself either. I might do that. Because it seems to me like there's really no point to reading it right now. 
or I might change my mind. But the thing is, is I still got to make another video with the recharges. I got a lot of suits I need to finish for you, man. It's, it's going to take a while. I think I'm going to do that because that will be much more enjoyable for me and fun. I don't think I have anything to do with her stage, hopefully. Oh, God. By the way... Oh, her hair's all the way there, huh? <laughs> you can't cheat the system. Ha! Uh-uh. Oh! Amazing. Her earrings. Ah! Is that a waist item? What's that? Tattoo? Oh. I didn't even know that was an item. It just blended in. Can somebody tell me why it's prompting me this when you don't have a choice? <laughs> what the hell? Ooh, that's a... Necktie... Uh, that's a... Uh, 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 thing. I like it, man. Dude, we're getting the most uninteresting pieces right now. Finally. Getting some cool ass items right now. Gloves. Looking awesome. The moon justice suit. Ooh, cravat. That's a cute cravat. Nice. Uh-huh. Unisex. Is that the first unisex item in this? Alright. Ooh, moon justice time. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. I'm bitch face, bro. Not bitch face, but uh, and the make ooh, this makeup might be a bit tricky to style. Oh, oh, it looks weird a little bit. You didn't hear that from me. Oh, I love the pants. So, like I said, this suit reminds me of Mood Justice. If you want a cheaper version of it, you can get him for seventeen thousand one thousand seven hundred something. Oh, I skipped the one by mistake. Huh? Oh. I feel like we have gone a thousand of that item right now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nice. Perfect. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, that totally makes sense. Uh-huh. Ha. No. Louis suit is done. Let's go claim some more things. This kind of makes up for not really, well, besides that one wedding suit that I have. I think it's the only wedding dress that I have that's red. So this will be my second one, and it's worth it. Better than the other suits. Well, obviously, because we're talking... <clears throat> I'm not saying aesthetic. No, no, no. I'm talking about how the art has improved. <laughs> What's this? Huh? What's that? Oh, uh -huh. oh yeah. Okay. Necklace. I feel like we have a lot of those. Oh. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you can see them on screen. Alright. Shoes. Very pretty. Shoes look nice. Makeup. Oh, she's got... Dude, the makeup looks weird on the left. Like, whatever's on her face is moving. <laughs> Not moving, but it's like going off her face. What the fuck, bro? Oh, I'm scratchy. I love the hair. Nice. Oh, no. All right. I love the dress. The dress looks nice. 200 sand. Why is this lighting up? Because I could spend it on that. Hypothetically, because I really want that. How much does it... How much do you get? 
five, huh? Uh, oh god, which button again? 75. Uh, let's do some math. 200. One twenty five. I am so I, I can't think. Um, that would be twenty five. Did did I do this right? Does it really cost two hundred fifty more? No, no, because we can buy a background with this too. Let's. All right, the bluebirds sing, swords clash, the day has dawned. This time at least, it's not too late. Souls entwined. Okay. The war banners on the city walls are flapping loudly amidst the roaring wind and large raindrops. Nikki and her group, wait, I do have the salmon event going on, so I could literally regain those diamonds back. I might just do that. Nikki and her crew finally makes their way up the city, but that's not the purpose of it. You want to save? All right, let's do this. They see the back of the familiar figure, twin swords in hand, frail body trembling in the harsh winds, yet she stands, guarding Cloud City, Cloud Empire with her life. It's a scene that's been carved deep in Nikki's memory. Nikki calls the figure's name, even if her voice is barely distinguishable in the forceful wind. Lunar, no. Lunar doesn't hear Nikki shout. Instead, she faces the black blade violently. <gasps> no. <gasps> a blue bird chirps loud and clear. A sharp silver blade blocks the fatal blow with a loud ear-piercing clang. Ah. Uh. It's you, my husband, bro. Ah, is it Louis? Yeah, it's him, isn't it? The silver-haired man is expressionless, yet, oh my god, his hand holding the sword is shaking slightly. Oh, I have a feeling everybody should go on Twitter and just tell the Chinese server, can you change it to this? Like, can you just bring her back and just... Because I have a feeling this is the ending everybody wants right the fuck now. <laughs> I won't let you hurt her again this time. Oh. Messy raindrops land on the youth's hair, his shoulders, yet he doesn't seem flustered at all. His gaze is steady as he stands between the attacker and the fragile girl. Henry retracts the dark verdict, meeting the youth's eyes. He seems to be pondering over something. After what seems like forever, he motions the soldiers behind him to retreat from the city walls with him. Oh my god. You have come, love. <gasps> Lunar gazes at the tall, broad youth, broad youth, smiling like a blossoming flower. Cling. The sword in the youth's hand lands on the ground. Finally, I made it in time. Ugh. <laughs> In the distance, a few rays of light pour from the sky. The last whiffs of gloom dissipate with a gentle gust of wind. Perfect. This guy saved Lunar. But wait, who is he? D do you know him, Nikki? Nikki's gaze. Nikki gazes silently at the youth, who's bending down, hugging Lunar like a child and smiles, relieved. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm glad Lunar is okay. As Nikki remembers what Louis said on the city wall, something flutters inside her heart. I think this is the background that you can buy. The flames on the red candles flicker, casting a warm, soft hue on the red veils in the room. The bride in red sits on the bed, vision obscured by the veil. She fidgets with her fingers nervous. Creak. A slender hand pushes open the door and someone steps inside. The bride feels the mattress sink as the new arrival sits down beside her. He waits a bit as if trying to make sure <clears throat> this isn't a dream before extending a hand. Oh, little do you know. The red veil is lifted and Lunar looks up. Her face is like a fresh hibiscus, hair like soft snow. 
Lunar gazes, Louis gazes at his bride unwaveringly. Ah! <laughs> I have to put my phone down for a second then. Oh. Oh, this is heart. Okay, I think my heart is dying right now. As if wishing to engrave the sight in front of him in his mind forever. He seems almost dazed, and Lunar can't help but giggle. Oh. What is it? Louis comes back to his senses and shakes his head, grinning. Oh, he looks so beautiful. It's just that I've been waiting forever. And I love the murder. It's just a game, though, but... Oh. Oh. I have been waiting for this moment since forever because, you know, in a later world, in another world... This doesn't happen. When did you learn to say something like that? Oh. Louis gently, carefully. What? Ooh, I read that completely differently. <laughs> Almost. It carefully pulls his bride into his arms. I'm just a. <coughs> I'm just afraid that you'll disappear as soon as I blink. Blink. I'm right here. Why would I disappear? Yeah, you, you're right here. Why would you disappear? Louis mutters as if trying to convince himself. I was still a bit too late for a 10-year... Yeah, that's right, because they were... Um, I forgot how we met him. Lunar, no, he got stabbed or something, and she found him, and I think nursed him back to health, but he disappeared for a long time. I don't remember exactly, but... You still came... It's never too late oh. the youth slowly buries his head in the crook of lunar's neck his tears land on the fabric of her wedding tears warm and wet does he know that he's in this bizarre world too as the red candles burn out the hibiscus flowers in the garden blossom bright the bluebird lands on the branch bringing with it the first rays of the morning light the door is pushed open. The youth reaches out and gently strokes the feathers of the bluebird. Oh, you fucking asshole! He's trapped in this world, too! Oh! Oh, oh thank you, Vivi. I got this. I almost do. I mean, I got a <clears throat> Louis suit. Oh! Ooh. That's why he cried, because he's in the same world we're in. I know none of this is real. No, I can't. <laughs> Dude, fuck. Why? I know none of this is real, but please let me enjoy this moment a little longer. Still, I can't remain in this dream forever. You trade your life for world's peace. I'll keep it for you. <sighs> the steel cold mechanical sounds resonate in the twisted space even as nikki ex exits this virtual world of the past she can't help reminiscing over it it's only the ending to the story we're always this wonderful i know i read that wrong i'm sorry she doesn't say anything else about the topic she knows that the past is in the past and there's nothing she can do to change it the regretful past has left its mark on her heart, becoming a strength that supports her to fight on. After all, they all have to go on their own ways eventually. Nikki turns around. In her vision, she sees a tall, determined figure. It's the same for all of us. You know, that's a great life lesson. You can't look at the past. You can't change it. Something that I need to... No, I'm not going to say it, but uh, something that everybody should really... Do it's the same for all of us. That was heart wrenching. Oh my god, where do you get the background from? I know Vivi bought it. Oh, all right, so where is it? I want the background. I want the background. Oh, that was heartbreaking, yo. 
Yo, like, legit. I need to back out a second. Hold on. Air balloon. It's always interesting to see the pretty oh, oh, back. Oh, spoilers. Breathe. Fate is not what's going to happen. Mr. Emery Staines. Miss Anna Wetherill. 1,630 diamonds. And uh, some... Uh, oh. <laughs> I know. Here it is. Their dream... Purchasing Puniki background, so I'm gonna purchase the Puniki game. Let's see. Okay, so right here you can buy the background, and this is going to be Lunar's background, so I'm gonna purchase this right now. Um, yeah, this is this background actually just came out in Miracle Nikki, and this, um wedding lunar wedding event has been around for I, I don't know since october so like and did she just say it came as in like the background no 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 no. hold on i'll find out if it's not here that means we don't have it oh we don't have it. She just said it came out. Oh, I get it. That image that she pulled up, that must be for the Chinese New Year thing, the New Year. So that means it, because she just said it came out as in like the background was non-existent at the time. This, this background actually just came out in Miracle Nikki. And... This um, wedding, lunar wedding event, has been around for, I, I don't know, since October. So, like, is it October? Because it's definitely been a couple months. Five sure. months. So, yeah. Uh, let me show you how this background looks like. Uh, Where's that background that she has? Is it from the current hell event uh, happening right now? Popular, so that's why they really... Oh, come on, bro. They didn't bring the background with that. But they just said, she did say it just came out. So when the event was made, or translated for us, the background was non-existent, wasn't it? Damn. Well, <clears throat> if that's the case, well. Uh, excuse me. If that's the case, then let's do this here. Sucks. Wait, that's not that expensive to finish it. Well, now that I know you can't get the background, that clarifies a lot of things. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, mm, oh, I go here. Yes. Let's just finish them both. I didn't mind spending 200 because 200 just to not get the free tries is actually not that expensive. Only because the tries are actually 5 diamonds instead of 30 a try. <laughs> or else this event would have been much more expensive. That's actually not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, I'm definitely reading a key story later. Well, damn. So, three. Tr well, so what can I get for free from her suit then? The hat? I don't know, bro. But, uh, damn, bro. Oh, no, 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 no. It's about time. Oh, and I have that suit to finish too. Yes. Dreams in the Dark Night. Let's do this. I'll tell you when this event came out. Alright, I know which background I want to use because it just... I used it when I got that unicorn suit. I just have to slowly scroll through it. She said around October? Let's see. I think I went too far back. Did 
Did it come before the hell event? No. Yep, she's absolutely right. It did come in October. All right, let's get ready for uh, Moon Justice. Moon Justice. Except Moon Justice costs a gazillion diamonds more. If yeah, that's the first thing I noticed when I got or when I first saw this suit. It's like, oh look, it's Moon Justice, bro. <gasps> oh, he looks hot. Oh. Oh my god, he looks hotter. This is like Moon Justice, except it's like less blue. I didn't realize how on blue this suit was until I took out the coat. Wow. Oh, I love the cravat. That's yeah, that's a nice touch that they added the cravat too, and this I love that. Then the swords in the back. And then the oh. How interesting that they didn't portray him in the Chinese wedding clothes. Instead, I guess they did the knight in shining armor thing look. Funny, the picture looks awesome here. The the face, the eyes, cause maybe because it's staring straight at us. But side, if I, if I change the hair, it looks... What's wrong? Like, his eyes are too close. Oh, man. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. 15 items, by the way. That's pretty cool. Lucky for him, he is always on the road with starlight. For freedom, for faith, and all the disadvantaged groups, he holds his weapon and breaks through the cold. Promise? Oh, when he made a promise to Lunar 10 years ago, he knew that snowstorm in North might bring unpredictable changes. He has long been chasing a distant silhouette in dreams. He knows it's impossible, but is reluctant to wake up. He hopes to see the snow with her. When the sunlight turns the snowfield gold, he will kiss his beloved's hair. When he was young, he believed justice would be served with forces. Now he knows the most injustice is the truth. He rides his horse galloping in the spring. He catches one flower, which is as soft as a girl's tender kiss. He reads the stories about cloud empire and dreams about traveling around by the white horse with the girl he loves. The purple glow goes out and the moon rises from the sea. The shimmering reminds travelers of many things back home. As lunar waiting, as lunar waits, at the cold spring night, he is unaware that Lunar is painting his moose frost dyed hair. What? Really? He thinks when they are too old to walk, they will share an old horse and return to Cloud in the morning rain. Oh, that's where the horse goes. He falls in love with the girl, heart and soul with his affection. He can courageously face any difficulty, so that's where the horse comes from. He stubbornly believed that one couldn't lose everything, at least he has vows to keep when he is in difficulties. Louis Bluebird with small wings and low chirping sound. No Aris. Uh, but one day it will be fully fledged and fly to the sky. The world is too big to remember everyone we meet, but after parting with her, she is always on his mind. Oh. Oh man, that hurts. <laughs> that hurts like a lot. Oh, wow. The, the horse is actually bigger than I thought. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. Bro. Oh, why you do this to me? <laughs> what the hell, bro? the next decade huh okay so for a future yet to come the youngsters have infinite time he is heading to a place with a sense of belonging he has visited many places and heard many stories but in his dreams oh oh jeez <laughs> he is hot let's let's get you blue bird but but we can't move it though. You deserve Bluebird right now. <laughs> so we'll, we'll give you Mr. Bluebird. Oh man, that hurts, bruh. We'll give you Lunar's Dogs. I 
wanna a glow which is snow. Yeah. No. Uh uh-uh. uh. Bruh. Uh, before I show you lunar suit, I definitely want to mess around with this suit and see how male can you make this suit. Because it looks like he has no chest. It's a Louis suit. Why would he, right? So, oh, oh man, that hurts. Bruh. Wow. <laughs> yes? Well, this is a good reason to go for it. I mean, if the zipper parts are completely as it should be. Like, you could turn into a guy suit. Hey, look. Perfect. Oh, dude, I love it. I was wondering if this was separated in the starry quarter. Yes. He is fucking hot. Okay. How about it? More snow. Wait, can I move the background? I could, okay. Figure over here, please. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Oh, dude, I'm loving this suit. This is like, uh, yes, please. Her makeup. Mm. Is it... I must have put this under favorite for sure. Should be here. Yeah, it reminds me of it, except it's <clears throat> not demonic. <laughs> so, I want to try the test of, first of all, I was concerned that the makeup was going to be hard to use. Okay, the, the mix. Okay, it's a little doable, sure. I, It still looks a little weird, but it looks nice. Oh, I like that. Not bad. I can't tell if that's a chest or not. Definitely not. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I want to do this. W what am I doing right now? I want the hair. I just don't remember the name of the hair. Well, Kida, I got to text you this. <clears throat> it looks like you can get... One that makes up for you not getting that suit. <laughs> so, all right, let's do this for a second. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, I'm going to put the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, now. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, Yo, oh, dude. Well, hell, if you want a male suit, like complete male, this is the one to get. Because it is definitely one. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, God, this is like, yes. Uh-huh. Well. Now's your chance. Yeah, the makeup is a little... I wish that was animated by itself without the special pose. 
Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm going to show this to you, Kida. I know you'll be happy to know. All right. Well, the last time I completed a... Oh, Louis suit is everything, in my opinion. Especially since it's a completely male suit. That's the most important thing. My lord, it's been forever since I completed a happiness suit. Oh, I'm getting my mom the Louis suit too. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. So I got literally got half of the of diamonds back that I spent for the event, huh? Since we don't have that background, damn, that sucks. I wonder why they didn't bring it. They just didn't have time, I guess, or they didn't know. Why does the icon remind me of something else? The color scheme. Which would be God of Wind. Oh, all right. I know what background I'd like to use for her now. They have a little, the same color scheme, just a little bit, but it's still different enough. So, what is in it? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out, like, what is. I think it's the makeup that I'm not fascinated by it because on her left. So here they are, uh, pieces individually. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Huh? Oh, yes. Oh. All right. What is it that I don't like? It could be... Yes, the suit looks much better without that right now. I know, I know. Much better. But video purposes, I'll, I'll leave it at that. I want to do change. Oh, well, first of all, let's do this a second. The big boy here. Oh, oh, that's a window. Oh, holy crap. Uh, they definitely went out on this item. Yeah, they did. Wow. Oh, my. <laughs> uh, yeah, they did a good job with this. That's for sure. Interesting. So is this like there's small... Wait, did this come before the hell event of Moonless Voyage? Because this is like really a lot animated -er, like than anything. Oh, and it's... Oh, and it's uh, layered too. Oh. Oh, that's nice. So we could do this. Peekaboo. I see you. Okay, and let's take a look at our special pose. I know they are. I know they're gorgeous. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> like, what's... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no, no. We don't want crying makeup. <laughs> oh, that's... Yeah. Oh, the suit looks a lot better, actually, now. So... Okay, that's movable. Yeah. 
Yes, because dragons and everything makes sense. All right, let's do Doggos. So give you Louis's horse since we gave you... So you gave Louis your pets. Okay. All right, view. What's up with this pose? It looks like she's defending herself from something like <gasps> kind of thing. It looks interesting. Now that I look at the special pose more, it looks interesting, but the color scheme of this looks really nice. So I think they added some purple or pink. I think they did a really nice job. It's just, you know, with Chinese suits, especially wedding suits like this, it's just like, it's just not my thing, which is why I'm not as excited. I still got it because it was nice enough, but I really wanted this the most because to be honest, if they didn't have that piece, I don't think I would have went for it. But then again, like, I want to keep Louie and uh, Lunar together too. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> Mr. Horse! Oh, you can't layer the... Yeah. Okay. Well. There we go. Oh, 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 but we need to fix that, yeah. My boys. Oh, but you can't... Oh, fuck, that's annoying. That means you can't layer anything else except Nikki. Ah. Damn it. Damn you! <laughs> Ta-da! Alright. So this video took about an hour. Not too bad, not too bad if I say so myself. So, we don't get the background, I guess, because it's not in the game. So whenever it will come, it will come. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this amazing uh, video. Kimmy's story is going to come later. I, I don't think it matters if i play it right now there is no tries for anything right i'm not sure to be honest with you <laughs> yeah i don't think it matters so yes this adventure was oh it was uh all over the place yikes so yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video next video is gonna have a recharges whoa wait I know I brought the thing with me here. All right, my gift card is here. I took it upon myself to buy that. Yes. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Awesome suits. Louis suit is a true male suit, it looks like. And it's like moon justice. Like, you can't go wrong with this suit. Like, yes. So, I'll see you later or next video. Bye. Come on.